If you are using QuickBooks to manage your inventory, then you can order new inventory whenever you are running low. Let's go over how to order and account for new inventory using a purchase order. Then we'll go over what to do when you receive your new inventory. Finally, you'll see how to make adjustments to your inventory if QuickBooks thinks you have more or less than you really do. If you haven't already created inventory products in QuickBooks, you'll need to do that first, and this video can show you how. To start, let's make sure you have Purchase Orders enabled in QuickBooks. Select Settings, then Account and Settings. Click on the Expenses tab. If the Purchase Orders feature is not enabled, select Edit and turn on Use Purchase Orders. You can also add custom fields, turn on custom transaction numbers, or create a default message for all purchase orders. When you are ready, select Save and select Done. Close the Settings window. Now let's get started. Go to Sales, then Products and Services. Here you can see which products are low in stock or out of stock. If you see a product you need to reorder, select the product and then select the Reorder option from the Batch Actions drop-down to open a purchase order. If you want to include multiple inventory items on the same purchase order, you can select them all. In the Purchase Order, select the supplier you want to order from. If you set up a preferred supplier for your product, you'll see one selected already, but you can change it if you need to. The shipping address is your address, but if you do drop shipping and you want your order delivered directly to a customer's address, you can select the customer under Ship To. Fill in Ship Via if there is a specific carrier you want your supplier to use. Under Item Details, enter all the items you want to order. Enter the quantity you want to order. Notice that if you hover over this, QuickBooks will show you how much you have on hand and your reorder point. You can adjust the rates and amounts for individual products as needed. You can also add more products to the purchase order. Just select them from the drop-down menu or add them if you don't see them. You can also add a message to your supplier, a memo, or add attachments. Once you're done, you can save and send the purchase order to your supplier or select another Save option and send it later. Here is a customizable email that QuickBooks will send to your supplier, along with the purchase order. If everything looks good, select Send and Close. If you go to Expenses and Suppliers, you can see your new purchase order listed here. Once you've sent it, your supplier can start processing your order. A purchase order itself does not change your inventory levels. It's just an order with your supplier. When you actually receive your inventory from your supplier, you'll need to record how you paid for it. You can enter it as an expense, a check, or a bill, depending on how you are paying for the inventory. This is what actually adjusts your inventory quantity and handles all the accounting. If you've received and paid for the inventory already, then you'll enter a check if you've paid by check, or an expense if you've paid by any other method. If you haven't paid yet, and your supplier has given you a bill with a due date, then enter a bill. These methods are all very similar. For this example, we'll enter a bill. Select your supplier. Since you have an open purchase order with them, you'll see it over here. Select Add to add the details of the purchase order to your bill. If the amount of inventory you received, or the price you paid for it, is different than what was on the purchase order, you can change it here. Once you are finished, select a Save option. Now, if you go to Sales and Products and Services, you'll see that QuickBooks updated the inventory quantity on hand based on your purchase order and the subsequent bill. One final note about managing inventory. If the amount of inventory you actually have on hand is not the same as what's in QuickBooks, you can make an adjustment. Find the product, select the arrow next to Edit, then select Adjust Quantity. You'll see the product here and the amount QuickBooks thinks you have on hand here. Enter in the number you actually have here, then select Inventory Adjustment Account. This tells QuickBooks where the value of the missing inventory should go. The default is Inventory Shrinkage, but you can create a more descriptive expense account for things like 
theft, spoilage, or charitable contributions if you prefer. This will affect your financial statements, so you should consult your accountant before doing this. Once you are done, select a Save option and you'll see that QuickBooks has adjusted your inventory. Now you are ready to start managing your inventory with QuickBooks. Thank you.